hello traders welcome back to a brand new video on the Brazil FX trading so first of all guys i want to thank you i want to appreciate you thank you for the 5,000 subscribers guys we have been on the youtube for um, one and a uh, let's say three months and guys already we have already hit 5,000 subscribers the start wasn't easy but right now guys you have showed me love you have showed the youtube love uh it's moving more and more we are reaching more and more people so they can learn how to trade forex guys thank you so much make sure to watch this video about our order blocks so i'm going to be teaching you order blocks in this episode guys on how you can apply order blocks to your trading system and be profitable on how you can find this uh, order blocks and be able to trade the smart money concept just like the banks guys and be able to grab money from the market watch the video from the start to the end guys because i'm going to be going live after this video so i can be able to give away gifts for the 5000 subscribers guys so make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever we post a video guys let's get started So guys, uh, order blocks are very simple to use because order blocks, trading order blocks is just like knowing how banks trade. It's because order blocks are zones where banks and institutional traders have filled in their positions. So that when price ever comes back to that zone, they will definitely take either buy sells or I mean they'll take buy trades or sell trades. So order blocks are very easy to use guys. But again, one thing you should know about order blocks. When we are using order blocks, we need to apply them only to bigger time frames. The reason for that is because uh, banks and institutional traders can never trade on smaller time frames like retail traders do. That's why you see 90% of retail traders fail in the market is because they are always playing in, you know, the, in the small time frame, the one hour time frame and all that. But again, for someone who's trading, you want to trade like the banks, it has to be the big time frame, guys. So let's get started with this. So guys, for us to know how to use this indicator, we are going to be trading on the Nasdaq. We're going to be trading on the Nasdaq. So this is the daily time frame, as you can see. We had a nice downtrend, you can see. We had a nice downtrend, now price is reversing to go back up. And then again, you can see even here, price has started coming down, you see. So I took a nice sell trade from here, but I'm going to show you how I took it by using an order block, guys. So what you want to do first is uh, come here, come to indicators here. When you come to indicators, you're going to search for order blocks. Just type in order blocks with signals. You see? Order blocks with signals. When you choose this, they're going to, it's going to appear like this. So most of the time it like makes the screen look small. So what you want to do is come to your right hand side around these numbers here then just scroll down like this you see when you scroll down then these things will enlarge and then big be, be, be of big size aha uh -huh. so guys as you can see we already now have some order blocks here so we have bearish order blocks and bullish order blocks so bearish order blocks this is how they look like uh -huh. so this is how bearish order blocks look like guys so this is as you can see, this is a bullish order block right here. We have a bullish order block there. Another one here. So, bullish order block is where, you know, when price comes ever comes back there, it will just go in for sales. Whenever price ever comes back in there, it will just go in for sales. So, when you apply this to your trading view, you're going to see these two colors, guys. You're going to see this this color, this, this purple color which represents a bullish order block and then you also see this one that represents the bearish order block so the green color is where we are going in for buys so when price comes back here let's say price comes like this it comes here then you're going to go in for buy so we shall buy at this zone here but again when price keeps on going up like this and it comes to this zone here we're going to go in for sales because this is another block you see so meaning if price ever comes back up here guys look here if price ever comes back here up here it means we're going to go in for sales because this has another block banks already have their orders filled in so that when price comes back there they'll either buy or sell so guys this is our order block finder it helps you to find order blocks you know when you're finding order blocks with your bare eyes sometimes it's hard but again trading view is a very good platform whatever you want here you just search it here any indicator they will give it you there so guys now let me explain to you how i was able to take a nice trade based off this order block you see here i didn't just take a trade because i saw the order block there no guys the order block is just a a bonus you already need to have like your proper analysis so the order block is just there to 
clarify that okay your analysis is right so for me to do that i'm going to go to the four hour time frame i'm going to go to four hour time frame uh -huh, then scroll out like this so guys this is where now i took my trade i took a nice trade guys this was a very nice trade i made uh <clears throat> i made uh, 1651 dollars on this trade you see i took a nice trade there you see so guys for me to take trade that i didn't just jump in because i saw another block no guys so first of all i had to apply price action price action is nowhere you analyze this chart without using an indicator you know you analyze you see how price is moving so what i applied was what we call area 12. we applied i applied what we call area 12. so for me to show you area 12 i'm first going to give you a little bit of uh i'm just going to give you a little bit of uh basics about area 12 so let me zoom to this clear space here you see guys so area 12 is very nice because it it's part of price action it tells you where the next wave it helps you in counting waves you know okay this is wave one this is wave two so let me give you the basics of uh, waves so we have what we call impulsive moves and then corrective moves impulsive moves those are, they're the ones i'm going to talk about today impulsive moves they give you a uh, clear impulsive move and then retracements so this is where you're going to get clear higher highs and higher lows so if price lesser price is in an uptrend we shall get this you see and then that's this is wave one then wave two then again we go in for wave three you see guys this is wave three and this is the longest wave guys that's the longest wave then we have wave four that comes out also so it's only wave one i mean wave two and wave uh four that stick out so so this has to at least retrace at least 38 or 50 percent of the the previous wave and then this is then this is our last uh wave four uh -huh, wave five yeah so guys, okay, this is what we have we have wave one if for, for you to be able to count them you can just you to come here and then choose area 12 one two three four five so you'll be able to count them like let's say one wave one this is wave one then wave two then wave three then wave four and then the last wave is wave five so this is where now we shall see paris you know reversing and then you know doing some other you know other stuff you know so this is how we we count waves so me when i'm counting these waves i know if i count okay this is wave one you see guys if i count this is wave one and then i know this wave two then again wave three the longest and again i see wave four coming in you see then i see, when i know now we are 25 i know now price has reached like a, a strong zone so i know when price reaches here it's going to either reverse or give us some you know consolidation then after i go down or go back up so that's what we are going to have guys so this is how i took this trade guys as i've given you this uh nice example about area 12 so so the current market is a nasdaq market so price reached here and it failed to break there because we had another block there so that other block just looks the same like this it just looks like this you see guys it looks like that so now price has reached there it has broken it has i mean failed to break here so now it has just started coming back down you know giving us that nice impulsive move to the downside like this so this is what that price did it did something like this you see guys went back retested and then now it has come back down you see okay this is just a basic of area 12 this is just a basic these are just basics you see guys this is something that uh, this is what like price has tried to give us this is what we have you see so guys let me jump now let me jump back to my current market chart and then show you the same thing now on the real market let me show you now the real thing on the real market so let me make this clear huh so guys this was our market as you can see you see so what i'm first going to do i'm going to draw my trend lines i love to play around with the trend lines i love to play around with the trend lines like this so these are my trend lines as you can see so i'll bring this more down like this so that's my first trend line then i'll just uh come here choose another one you know i love to work with the channel i don't just i don't just want to have one trend line i always like to work with the channel so this is what i had guys as you can see a nice uptrend market so how do we count the waves as i told you just come here and, and select 
area 12 1 to 1 2 3 to 5 see so this is 12 1 you see guys let me first you see huh so you see guys this is why now we start counting these waves from from here you see wave one that's the, my wave one so what i want to do is come here choose that then i'll start from here wave one this is wave one there then wave two is down here guys look down here two aha uh -huh. then the longest is wave three you see then wave four is the, the one that sticks out and then the last wave the last wave is wave five you see it's up here the king this is where now price reverses you see guys i had a nice wave so the reason why i'm telling you about area 12 is just it's only just because uh i just want to tell you about area 12 the reason is because you need to first apply price action onto your chart before you applying the order block finder because when you apply the order block finder when you already have your analysis laid out like this you see when you already have your analysis laid out like this the order block finder is just going to give you a bonus you see it's just going to give you a bonus so what did i have here i already had price you know reaching at a, a major zone this is a major zone price wouldn't go any further beyond that it's because we had an order block there and if you want to see where the order block is you just scroll this side you see guys just scroll this side and then you see you see this this big gap so this is where the order block the current order block is you see this is our bullish order block. And remember I told you a bullish order block, that's where sellers selling sellers selling pressure or that's where the banks and the traders are going to place in their traders, their trades to sell. You see, that's now my order block right there. So and this order block, it came uh this was April. This is was the 22nd of April. But now guys, look after just a, just just after some months, <coughs> price comes back to the same zone, you see price comes back to the same zone yeah this looks clear you see now price comes back to the same zone there and then what you would you expect price to reverse so what you would do now guys for you to be uh to have like proper confirmation you have you you had to wait for the market to break our trend line and when pri price breaks a trend line guys we have to see a retest the retest happened and now you see we have a big drop to the downside is it we have a big drop to the downside but off just you know all the proper analysis guys not using the moving average all that all those you know many indicators just you know having proper price action guys and if you haven't watched my proper my price action video go watch it right, right now i'm going to leave the link above here i'm going to be leaving the link above here so guys this was a very nice you know i took the trade you know just seeing the order block jumped in right away so now price has to come down to this zone down here so price still has the way long way to come down here because even you see here we have something like noise in there so meaning there's no momentum in there there's no like volatility so and um, right now the you know both markets the nana session market and new york session market is closed so we're ready for the australian market to open and then see price you know pushing down you know to this zones here before you know maybe you know doing something like that you see guys so this was a very nice case order block finder ever since i started using this indicator like i've had a very winning percentage you know i've had a very winning ratio rate so guys if you have enjoyed this video guys make sure to uh check out uh, all my other videos about order blocks and i'm going to be bringing more and more my next video guys is going to be about impulsive moves or what we call area 12 guys so what i'm going to i'm going to be explaining it in depth so that you can understand it i'm going and i'm going to be explaining it on multiple charts guys so guys make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our weekly videos guys i'll see you in my next video peace